Peace and blessings, everyone. This is my year of expression. I want to express with you today the thoughts and reflections I'm having on Dr. King Day, uh, specifically as a white man in America. My thoughts and feelings, first and foremost, are that I feel like this is the Easter Sunday or the Eid of conversations on race and racism in America, which is to say I don't see this many people actively participating throughout the rest of the year, which has me first reflecting upon my own actions before I point the finger at anyone else. So I'm asking myself today, if I was alive during Dr. King's time and during the height of the civil rights movement, would I have been an active participant or would I have been a passive bystander? And the best way to get to the heart of that answer is to reflect upon the actions and behaviors I have now because racism and white supremacy are just as alive in America today as they were in the 50s and 60s. So here are the questions I am asking myself on Dr. King Day to hold myself accountable. First question I have is how am I showing up throughout the rest of the year in working to create a world free from discrimination and racism. For instance, in my circle of friends, am I using my relationships to talk about these tough conversations on racism and privilege? When I hear people say derogatory words or exclusive language, do I use my relationship and the bridge we already have built to have a conversation on that and to have dialogue about how we can use inclusive language more respectfully? Am I using my sphere of influence within my family, at my job, within the social networks I'm a part of? Do I use my voice to contribute? The second question, Dr. King focused a lot on policy and police brutality. Am I, throughout the rest of the year, actively working to be aware of the policies that are in place that uphold racism and discrimination? Am I making sure that I'm using my voice to advocate for politicians, local and uh, systemic, that are working towards creating a world free from r racism? Around police brutality, when conversations on police brutality are being had this year and uh, activists and uh, protests are happening, am I saying things like, well, if people would have just been respectful or if people would have just behaved, or if they just would have listened to police, none of this would have happened. Do I say things like that? Or am I listening to the experiences that black people and people of color go through, believe them, and then take action towards creating a world free from systemic racism? The last question that I'm asking myself today is, am I working to uproot and to name the personal biases that I have in my life? What am I doing to actively make that happen? For instance, am I reading books by diverse authors? Am I watching documentaries? Am I reading blog posts? Am I going to places where people are having dialogue? What am I doing to actively uproot the racism that I have learned in these 28 years in our society? These are the tough questions that I'm asking myself, and I would be invested in having this dialogue with you if you're interested in us conversating in a way that creates understanding rather than us arguing or attacking each other. If you're interested in that, feel free to comment below. All the ways you can get in contact with me are on my website, tomearl.com, or on my social media, Tom Earl Artist. Thank you. Peace.